Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and I am Swallows class teacher. I'm missing you all so much and I'd love to share a story with you. Now this isn't just any ordinary story, this is a story with some moves and some grooves and it looks a little like this. Now it's called Doing the Animal Bop and it is one of my favourites. Now. Before we read our story, we need to go to the jungle because that is where our story takes place. So, are you ready? Can you help me count down from three? Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow! Thank you everyone for your help. Now, can you see the shapes behind me? They look like something. What do they look like? That's right, they look like animals. Now what animals can you see? Let's have a look. I can see a penguin. What else can you see? That's right, I can even see a slippery snake. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. Now, let's get ready to groove to the animal bop. I'm going to do some dance moves and you can copy as best you can or you can make up your own dance moves as we go along. That's absolutely fine. Now let's get ready to dance. If you like to dance and you sometimes sing, why don't you do the animal thing? Put your heels together and waddle along Go oh, crack, 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 it's the penguin song. High stepping knees and feathers that bounce, flim flam flutter to the ostrich flounce. Just like a snake, you can sliver along. With a hiss and a wriggle, you can sing this song. Jive and jiggle, just don't stop. Jump and wiggle to the monkey bop. Kick those legs like the donkeys do. Then go E-R, E-R, two. Wave one arm, stomp your feet, trudge along to the elephant's beat. Move one leg, now move two, move the way the lizards do. A chicken can peck and a chicken can cluck, but I think it's more fun being a duck. The duck does a waddle on his flip flap feet, so swing your bottom to the quack quack beat. Grunt and groan, stomp, 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 roar and rage, it's a rhino romp. All the cow can do is chew, so let's end up with a great big moo. Great work everyone, super dancing. I need a big drink now after all that hard work and I bet you do too. Don't forget to have a drink and come back for a surprise. <sighs> that feels much better. Now for your surprise we're going to make a slivery snake. And this is how you do it. Okay then, first off you will need a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some colouring pencils or something to decorate your snake with. You might need an adult's help as well. First, use a pencil and draw a circle. It doesn't have to be precise, but if you wanted to, you could always draw around a plate to help you. Great job. Next, use your pencil make a spiral. This is one line that starts on the outside of your circle and swirls all the way to the middle. Next we're going to decorate your snake. Now this is just to show you where the head and the tail will be in case you want to draw eyes or a tongue onto your snake. I'm using pens to decorate my snake with but you could use colouring pencils, you could stick things onto your snake. It's completely up to you. I've decorated my snake using a zigzag pattern, 
but you can choose whichever you like. Next, it's time to cut out our spiral. This is where you will need an adult's help or an adult to supervise you using the scissors. I've stuck a smiley face on my thumb to remind me that my thumb should always be pointing upwards so I can always look at the happy face. You need to cut along the spiral that we drew earlier. Once you've cut your snake cup, gently lift the head up and you'll see that the rest of the body follows in a circular pattern. You've made a slivering snake. Well done. Great job, everyone. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed the story, the dancing and the art. And I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.